Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick, the coffee edition. So I just got curious because I really love coffee and I think I would love the shades of this range. So I wanted to try it myself. I have the five shades. So this is how the packaging looks like. It's really like a pretty packaging. Like um, it's the same with the older versions, but they only have like this is colored. I think normally they should be white and the body was like the should be the corresponding color of the shades inside when i first reviewed the other versions of the matte liquid uh this um from this range i will i will link it here so you will see my um review about that i really didn't like it because it didn't dry so quick so i think some i heard or i saw someone saying you need to apply really thin layers so it will dry quicker so i will try it now and we will see how it looks so if you're wondering for my uh, look today i will link or i will put it in my description box what i'm wearing today for my makeup i think i will post a um, video of this um, about this look because this is like my everyday look so you will see how it looks i will also link it here if you're interested to know um, how i did my look and yeah if you want to um, to know a bit of like tutorial i always use or i always go for like quick easy makeup look because um yeah, I just prefer that like natural looking. So yeah, so now we will go to the swatches. So I think I will go first to the lightest and then to the darkest. So the first shade is number 255 Chai Genius. So this is like a light brown, but hmm, yeah, it's like a nude shade. I thought it, it will not look so good on me, but in person it looks okay. I thought it would be too light, but I think this would be a perfect um, shade for if you have like smoky eyes, so it will just um, balance your look. The scent is doesn't smell like coffee. I thought it would smell like coffee. I tried to remove like the, a lot of excess products, so it will not be too thick on my lips, and hopefully it will dry faster because that's what they recommended. To Till now, I think it's been for a minute, it's still sticky, but I like how it looks on my lips. I think this range, I think I would keep because I love the range, the color range. So yeah, this is Chai Genius. I will try the, like the drying part later with my last shade, I think. So that would be my, like, I'll try the wear test and things like that after eating, how it would look. So. Yeah, that is Chai Genius. So the next shade is the number 260 Hazelnut Hypnotizer. So this is the shade that I was so excited the most because um, I think I would really love how it would look and I'm really right. So this is also like a bit of a nude shade but um, much more pinker than the first shade. So yeah, and this smells really sweet but also like headache inducing almost for me it's too like too sweet but not really bothersome but yeah this is really a, like, a, like a pink brown shade i really really love this shade and um, yeah i think this would be my most favorite among these five so yeah that is 260 hazelnut hypnotizer so the next shade is 265 caramel collector so i think this is one of the shades that i was really excited about because it looks so pretty on like swatches and yeah i i really love this as well this like um like a, like a brick orange kind of shade i'm not so good with describing shades but i think this is like a like almost like a pumpkin shade but a bit darker and yeah sorry the light is really dark now so it's getting gloomy so um i think I, it will look like a bit grayish already but i hope you still see like the true color hopefully with pictures a bit of the light still so yeah i tried also to remove a lot of excess product and yeah i think i like the application of it better it's still sticky now as well but i think it's really like that with this liquid lipstick but yeah i really love this shade so yeah think one of the shades I, I would use a lot so yeah that is the 265 uh, caramel collector now it's a bit a struggle already to remove it and to like really rub 
my lips so hard and it didn't even stay long in my lips so I'll use like my foundation sponge to cover it a bit. Next shade is 270 Cacao or Cocoa. Cacao I think. Um, Konwasur, Konwasur. I hope I'm saying that right. So this is really like a pretty vampy shade. I didn't expect I would love this because I thought this kind of lipstick is yeah too much for me. I need to have a certain mood and look for this. But this is perfect for like autumn, winter time. It's not like like blue red, which I like. It's more like um, brick red, but a bit darker. Like like I don't know. It's like a choco red, something like that. And yeah, it's really pretty. I think I would use this also a lot. And this smells, yeah, uh, chocolate. Uh, this smells like chocolate. This specifically, and I think the last shade, you really need a small amount. So I tried to like blend it out really well um, on the edges because I do like sharp lines and I just really had like few swipes. Um, so it will not be too much on me so I tried to blend it with my finger so it will look like burned out in the edges so yeah I really love this shade this is the last shade the 275 mocha inventor so this is really like a bumpy um, really dark brown red kind of shade it's really too much for me it was so hard to apply it because it's too opaque and I noticed in the middle part it's like it's it's lifting so I need to reapply it but um, even if I reapplied it, there's still like, you see the line here that is not coated really well. I don't know what, this is the only shade that this happens or maybe because it's too like dark, that's why you notice it and the rest not. So yeah, I really do like this shade. It's too like for me, this is like a Halloween kind of shade. Like I feel like I'm the mother of the Adams family. I don't know, I forgot her name, but yeah, this shade I will not surely use because it's too bumpy too dark for my liking so yeah this is the last shade so i will apply my favorite shade to just to test it later how it will be and how long it will dry and also after eating and so so it's really getting dark it's really sad that this happened so i hope you will still see like the true color of it well i will edit it later so yeah let's so i will just change with other shades so i'm back with the shade 270 kak Co cacao or cocoa cacao connoisseur <laughs> why did i choose the most difficult one just because i'm i'm normally not into this kind of shades i wanted to test it to see how it will be so while waiting for it to dry i'll just um, try to tell you the definition of this liquid lipstick so perfectly intense view of lips in rich coffee colors no transfer after 16 hours of saturated liquid matte I still need to check that out but I don't think I will ever use this more than 10 hours so super stay matte liquid lipstick gives you a flawless matte lip matte finish in a range of super saturated shades which I agree now in coffee inspired shades so the benefits um, they said it's uh, fewer lips in rich coffee colors no transfer after 16 hours Highly pigmented liquid matte lipstick features a unique arrow applicator for precise application. The formula is a long lasting and gives a flawless matte finish in six coffee inspired shades with delectable coffee scents for easy removal use with Maybelline Super Stay Eraser Lipstick Remover. So I don't have that eraser so I'm not sure if it would maybe it would really help a lot um because where i bought it they only have five shades maybe in the states or in asia they have six shades so i'm really wondering now what is the shade that i don't have so yeah and normally i i bought it when it was 50% uh, off in plain from ba i think a lot of shops offer like one plus one also um every now and then so just wait for it because i think the full price of this is 15 euro which is too much for me i never normally buy more than 8 euro lipstick depends if I really want it. Um, normally only MAC and Lisa Eldridge is the most expensive that I have. Normally everything is on sale or like in promotion. So yeah, now it's on my lips for... I used a stopwatch for 2 minutes. So let's see if it's already dry. Mm. There's a transfer here. So still not dry so i will check back to you after five minutes 10 minutes 
15, 20, let's see if it will be dry or not. And then I will do that, like the transfer, um, like how it looks after eating, drinking coffee and things like that. After seven minutes, I tried to check it and it's still um, transferred. So it still didn't dry totally. And then I noticed lip products lifted, so I needed to reapply it. As you can see, there's like spaces that some products are lifted. So I tried to fix it and reapply the new one. And after 10 minutes, it's still not drying as you can see and after 15 minutes it's still the same so i decided not to check anymore in after 20 minutes because it's just like the like my other review my first review about them that they don't try quickly so this is how it looks after i ate and drink coffee so most of the products is gone so after eating you need to reapply it yeah, so far i really love the shade range of this this is like the most of the shades except the last one i don't think i will keep and yeah i really love like how yeah the how pigmented they are and i think like the older like liquid lipsticks i reviewed from them it would be really long lasting and you will see already how it is when i ate after i ate and yeah how quick or long they would dry down or how will they transfer i really like yeah I, if they release something like a different um concept but i really love the like the shade range i would definitely try from them i thought i would never try liquid lipstick anymore because of what happened with my first review with them but with this experience with this coffee edition i think i would try more because i do love like the shade and how they look on my lips they really cover it good although when i had like dry lips there's like parts that there was like peeling uh, you will see it but if i just rub it with like a cleansing wipes it will be done but i think if you really have dry lips it would really emphasize like all like the patches so just be careful with that just um scrub your lips really good when you use them so yeah they're really i really feel like they're drying but i think when you apply first like a lip balm it should be okay but if you yeah you feel like they're really like they don't look like butt lips because i or like they always say like a butthole with a liquid lipstick because i try to not apply too much i think when you apply so thick um it will look like that but with this it's okay yeah it's i really feel it's drying it's true so that's just the thing that you need to take um into consideration when you get like liquid lipstick like this so yeah but so far i really like them and yeah i think they would really perform good under the mask as well because they're really long lasting like the previous release from them and uh, i love this applicator because it goes just really enough and gets the product um good and i just try to remove the excess so it will not be too thick because that was the mistake i did i think last time that's why i didn't really like it and it took so long to dry so yeah those are the swatches and my review over this new um coffee edition liquid lipstick from maybelline i hope it was helpful for you if i forget to mention anything on this video i will put it in my blog post and i will also link it in my description box below so you can see more pictures and more information about these um, products and yeah if you find this video helpful please give this a thumbs up it will help my channel a lot and if you could consider subscribing to my channel it will mean so much to me so yeah thank you for watching and hope i'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.